Nah, sorry, I'm taking I'm taking, I've got a missus that's pregnant. That's a good intro. <laughs> Fucking missus will rate that one, cuss. <laughs> yeah, bro. Got <laughs> him. Holy fuck, there's a huge white tail on my fucking <laughs> Holy fuck! Holy fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Chase. Mean bro, looking forward to this morning, uh, this, today. What are we up to? Uh, we're a couple of wairua up Spirits Bay, my uh, my whenua, not kuri hard, it's us. Yeah. Been a while, been a while, too long actually. Too uh, long. Heaving, heaving. Got the red dragon here, we got Chase's blue beast, and uh, yeah we're just getting ready to go so. We'll get all this chucked on, get the kayak on the trailer and make our way up. G'day everyone and welcome back to another video. We'd picked an awesome day to go and do this mission. The sun was shining and we enjoyed a beautiful scenic drive all the way up to the top of the country. And yeah, once we got into the campground, we were greeted by this beautiful scene. It was an amazing day, calm, no wind, and uh, yeah, we made it to the ramp and started to get our kayaks ready. Yeah, check out this cool t-shirt and cap that Chase has got on. They're from his clothing brand, Prolific. And uh, yeah, I'll check a link in the description for that. All right. Yeah, 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 there's another one over there. Chase. Oh. Nah, sorry, I'm taking it. I'm taking it, I've got a missus that's pregnant. All good. Oh, that's a good intro. <laughs> Fucking missus will rate that one, cuss. <laughs> yeah, bro. Got him. <laughs> Holy fuck, there's a huge white tail on my fucking <laughs> Holy fuck. Kill him, bro. It's gonna be too deep there. <laughs> Holy fuck, that's huge, bro. Just crush it. I don't even, can't even see it. Oh. Holy fuck! Holy fuck! <laughs> ah! oh, it's a big one. Oh, they come, boy. Get him, get him. Oh, you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's done now. Oh, man, you got multiple good intros there, bro. Multiples, multiples of multiples. I'm gonna get that kick on him. My videos with you and them always do well. <laughs> Yeah. Now I know why. <laughs> Get all that female audience. Oh, Chase is a bit of a hit with the old wahine, eh, bro? Just smile and wave, bro. Smile and wave. That's the one. That's the one. Keep it humble. Let's do it.
we've made it down and uh, we're about to launch out here there is more swell than what I'd like but um, like I'm, I'm looking over there and the viz looks alright so uh, that's the main thing we'll get out through this without too many worries I reckon and uh, we'll get into it what do you reckon Chase? oh yeah we out there we out there We're out there Fano. we are out there. We're going to paddle along the coast a bit, trying to look for some cleaner water. Because we just come out of that estuary, so there's a lot of dirty water around that. And we'll be hopping in. So as you can tell, there's pretty good viz here, and so I just sort of started snooping along the coastline. I found a couple of decent drop-offs here that I could peer over. It all looked like pretty good ground, but I wasn't really seeing much fish. So I smashed a couple of kinner up over this ledge, and then came back a little bit later, and found this trevally on them it was the only fish there actually it was a little bit surprising but yeah managed to get a shot into it and was off to a pretty good start I reckon After a quick icky, I deposited it in the catch bag, and we actually went and had a look for some power, but we only found little ones, so we decided we were going to move. So yeah, I climbed back on my kayak and did a stupid thing, took my mask off and chucked it in the thing and it was still recording. Oh shit. That wasn't very fishy. So I only found out that I'd left my mask recording when I went to pick it up to put it back on and in the next spot so recorded a whole lot of the inside of my kayak but anyway uh, I'd set a few kinner over in this area when I first jumped in and came back to check it had a little snoop around and only saw one snapper that I couldn't get close to so yeah came back came back to check this and yeah there's a bunch of little fish there but nothing worth getting excited about so yeah had this school of knife fish come up and check me out you don't see knife fish a huge amount they're kind of like a cross between a kohuru and a blue mau mau but yeah, since the school was there, I dived down to the bottom just in case there was any kingies lurking around them. Kingies do like to eat them. But yeah, no joy. They were just cruising. So yeah, found a bit of a bouldery area, so I was kind of keeping an eye open for crayfish as well. And all the cracks and gutters and everything and uh, 
came across the scorpion fish, so I actually thought I'd have a go at catching it with my bare hands, but I was a bit slow on this one and it got away on me. A bit further along the coast, this kingy showed up and it wouldn't really let me get that close to it, so I took a chance and took a long shot and yeah, the shaft went in probably a little bit lower than I wanted and it ripped straight off the spear and I was a bit gutted because it was actually a pretty decent king. Well, she's been a bit of a tough day at the office, to be honest. We sort of struggled to find a lot of fish really, there's not really a lot there. Our power spot was, there was a lot of little power in there but nothing of any size and um, yeah, so I managed to shoot that Trevally you saw before and I've also off camera managed this guy. Um, I'm pretty sure I got it on camera and you would have seen it if I did but uh, had a really decent kingy hang around for a bit and uh, managed to get a shaft into him but he ripped off. I wasn't super confident in my shot anyway um, but I knew he wasn't going to hang around so I kind of had to take the shot and yeah he ripped off so this is probably going to be the last spot here. Well known kingy spot. I'd like to get a king so uh, yeah we'll try this and if not we'll Put our tail between our legs and head for home, I think. So I flicked my camera on as soon as we got into this spot and it ran for a few seconds and then beeped and died. And obviously I'd used up too much of my battery when I'd left it on in the kayak before. So from this point on I've only got clips, but yeah. Managed this really decent Trevally. Got a real good stone shot in that one. And then Chase managed to get himself a good Trevally as well. This spot was a whole lot fishier than the last spot. And yeah, after having yet another Kingy rip off, I finally managed to get my shaft into this one. And uh, yeah, had a pretty good tussle with it actually. So I wasn't really sure about my shot, so um, Chase actually came over and put a second shot onto it. And uh, yeah, I was pretty stoked. Well, that was just a little bit epic. Just kingfish coming through right from the start. And I shot one and it was a absolute sleigh ride but it got me around a rock and ripped off I was a little bit slow getting to it but uh, yeah I've just managed uh, another nice one um, probably I don't know 12 kilo something here I'll hold it up for you in a sec here we are I've gone and lost my knife so I can't even look my nick him or bleed him or anything but beautiful kingy and uh, oh we just need one for you now, eh, Chase? Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. Oh, yeah. Chase shot one before too, and it ripped off as well. So, um, well, I don't know what happened there. It looked like a real good shot that he put into it. I, I saw the shot go in because my gun had just misfired on it, and then he shot it, and it looked like a mean shot. So I don't know what happened there, but the flopper might not have even opened. That might have been half the trouble, I think. But uh, anyway, we're on the board with this baby, and uh, we're going to hop back in to try and get Chase one now. Looks like it was going to snap. It looked like that. It was between one of the locking. Ah! Oh, did you try and straighten it or? Yeah, straighten it. Oh, yeah. I don't think this puppy's going to go anywhere now. Fuck, that's mean, bro. We haven't got much time left. Nah, nah, another good 20 minutes. And it's like a uh, all right. We've done it. Pulled the pin. Uh, no more joy there, just, uh, well, there was plenty of, plenty of Trevally and Snapper kicking around in that, but I didn't really feel like I was going to take anything else after I shot that king. I don't think Chase got anything else, he's kind of way ahead of me at the moment. But uh, yeah, we've got the little paddle back to the beach now, and I think we're going to get a, an amazing sunset too. It's already starting to look pretty damn nice. Check this out.
All right, look at that beautiful sky. Oh, that's stunning. We're back. It's pretty dark. I'm going to have to wrap things up tomorrow, but uh, yeah, we're going to get these kayaks loaded and get out of here. Oh, all right. I am back home and it's the next day and uh, I've just got the catch laid out. I'm just about to start filleting, but um, sort of before I do, I'd give you a look. So we've got half a kingfish here. Uh, Chase took the other half. Um, he actually shot one, but it ripped off. Um, so yeah, he took the other, he took the fillet off the other side of this fish. And we've got a little snapper here that I shot and I didn't get that on camera, but uh, I just snooped that that one and then we've got a couple of trevally here i'm not sure i know i got that one on camera i'm not sure about this one but so yeah all in all an amazing day up there it's a special place i don't go up there much it's a long way to go but uh when i do it's always very very rewarding and uh just just such a special place but um anyway that's pretty much it for this video guys i'm gonna say thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one cheers